In today's video, I'm going to be explaining everything that you guys need to know about the brand new Chapter 3 Season 3 XP system that is currently hated by the Fortnite community. I will be talking about the brand new XP system this season in depth and actually explaining to you guys exactly why it seems harder to level up this season. Also talking about a recent Fortnite XP update that's just been pushed into the game very recently, which can actually help you guys level up that little bit faster faster this season so jumping straight into this talking about the brand new Fortnite chapter 3 season 3 xp system so to put it short the xp system has changed once again i don't think there's any surprise there it seems to be changing every single season at this point but it has changed and it has changed for the worse if you don't like difficult xp and you're not somebody that likes to grind fortnite a lot for the xp so if we actually take a look at the xp amount for this season for each individual level we now find in this brand new season it's actually gone up five thousand xp so last season it was seventy five thousand xp to actually require in total to level up once uh, with a single level but now for every single level all the way up to level 200 it is eighty thousand xp even from the get-go at level one eighty thousand total amount of xp just for one level and then as soon as you hit level 200 the xp required amount total will actually go up by 400 xp a time so from level 200 to level 201 you will see a 400 xp increase and then from 201 to 202 another 400 and so on all the way up to level 1000 or whatever so of course xp has definitely got harder and increased this season so what does this sort of ultimately mean for actually completing the entire battle pass for level 100 and uh, currently 200 which is not confirmed to be the max level for all of the bonus rewards uh, but that's kind of like a logical guess right now i'm sure we'll find out uh, a lot more in the coming days and weeks but for level 100 you now require a total of 7 million 920,000 XP of course a sudden increase from last season now for level 200 if we are basing it around level 200 you now require a total amount of 15 million XP uh, or 15 million 920,000 XP so basically 16 million XP total in this entire season which is a lot um, but of course we do need to stress that this season is around 105 days long i believe it does currently uh, set to end on the september the 17th so it is a long season but that still doesn't take away from the fact that xp this season isn't brilliant but don't worry because epic games have within a couple of days of the season being out already responded to this and have actually pushed out a brand new xp hotfix uh, for the community to actually improve the xp gain whilst playing in battle royale so it appears that accolade xp amounts have actually been multiplied by two and if you don't actually know what accolade xp is it's basically things that you can actually do in game in like a regular game inside of battle royale so that's things like opening chests opening ammo crates opening uh, llamas eliminations um, discovering landmarks all things like that they are accolades and they have now been increased or sort of multiplied by two so we're basically essentially getting double xp than we sort of originally get in in the first few days of the season so it's definitely not the best update of course but it's definitely a start and i think we will most likely notice this over time and i think this will be really good for things like xp routes and bot lobbies especially if you guys can do them and just regular um pubs as well because it looks like accolades just by simply playing the game have been increased but no signs of creative xp or things like milestones or weekly challenges or quests uh, have actually not been increased at this moment in time speaking about additional xp and extra xp for us to get to help us to get to that level 200 by the end of this longer season we actually do have some vibing narrative challenges on the way to help us actually get there and actually unlock all of those bonus rewards so these are very very similar or practically the same uh, as the resistance 
a quest line that we did receive last season and a similar kind of quest line where there is sort of a narration over the challenges are set to return this season which is really good now currently in the game files of course they're not actually in game as of right now but they are currently set to only give you 7000 xp a massive decrease from last season and actually the resistance quest line of course it's not absolutely brilliant but it's definitely like i said with the xp hotfix it's a step in the right direction and any kind of bonus or sort of extra xp that we can get our hands on is definitely something positive and you can expect these challenges to appear actually in game at some point uh, this week later on this week or next week but according to fire monkey the fortnite leaker they are definitely coming so make sure you guys look out for those because you are not going to want to miss out on not completing your challenges with the xp system as it is now moving on to possibly my favorite thing that i want to cover in this video and this is an xp mega thread that's actually been posted on the fortnite reddit by somebody called josh72112 and it's actually titled mathematically proving that xp this season is bad the worst XP of Chapter 3 and possibly with the way the community have been reacting, possibly the worst XP season for a very, very long time. So he just goes through and just writes this mega essay and just writes thousands of words about the XP this season and mathematically going through and explaining just how bad it is. So if we take a look at this, for example, this means we can earn... 5,165,000 total XP uh, this season just from completing weekly and milestone quests. Only 5 million from completing a spread of like 15 weeks or 14 weeks, bearing in mind it is a 105 day season and also the milestone quests as well. So if we complete all those, it's only 5 million XP. That might seem a lot, but bearing in mind at level 200, the possible max level for this season, it might even be more higher, is around 16 million XP. So it's not even half. So that's why I think a lot of people are not happy with the XP uh, this season. But if you guys wanna just go through this entire sort of like essay, um, you guys can actually do this. I'll leave a link down below in the description of this video if you want to read it all for yourself and actually check it out because I think it's definitely worth a read. If you guys are new around here and you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video to help this video get around to more people who may be struggling to actually get XP this season and want to know what on earth is going on, what has changed within the world of Fortnite XP in this current season. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you all in the next one.